Hey everyone, this is Judy with JLB Crafts. Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, thank you so much for giving me a try. In this video, I'm going to be setting up and hand lettering the week of May 30th through June 5th in the big, lovely letters planner. That's the 2022 planner from Happy Planner for um, learning to hand letter. This will also apply to the classic. This will also apply to um, just any um, ruled paper that you have. You can print your own practice sheets. You can use um, school kid practice sheets. The one thing you really do need though is um, a good brush pen. I have a whole video on that. I will link that in the cards up above. It's also at the very beginning of my 2022 hand lettering playlist. So anyway, enough about that. Um, this is it. We're learning our last few lowercase letters this month and then starting with capital A. So the capital letters, AKA majuscules, that's the technical term. Um, those we're gonna do during the second half of the year and those we are gonna do in alphabetical order. So we start with the letter A, we've got April and August. If you um, are contemplating, you know, being done and just kind of not doing this anymore, I encourage you to at least get into the beginning of the capital letters because that's when the fun and the creativity really begins. There are so many ways to do almost every capital letter and it's really fun to think about that and look at the different options and play with the different options um, and just really uh, develop the, quirkiness to your font, if you will. So anyway, in, to get to that though, we have to get through the last few letters. This week we're on letter Y, which you're gonna use a lot. There are lots and lots of Ys. Um, next week, if you have some extra paper, you might want it next week. It frustrates me. It frustrated me last year, frustrates me this year. We had a free week a few months ago where I think it was for the capital L or the capital T. We had a week where we didn't learn a new letter. We just had the upstroke, I think it was. Um, and then next week, we're going to squeeze two of the hardest letters in my opinion, the R and the S, they put them in the same week. So the good news is I was able to come up with lots of words that have both, um, but I really feel like that was a miss. Um, we should have had a separate week for R and a separate week for S, but I hit R and S really hard the rest of the month, so you get lots and lots of practice. So if you have some extra paper, next week will be the week that you're gonna wanna use it. So. The Y is not hard. Um, I think we're, we got a, a, an easy week this week. Give us a little bit of a break so that we can um, be ready to go for the R and the S next week. So for this week, I am going with these. Um, I got the new Planny Thing Seasonal Fun Book. I have not used it yet. And um, I'm gonna use these beautiful kind of like pastel rainbow butterfly stickers. And that is for the challenge from A to Z planner themes. The subject is, I know it's hard to see, color your world. And I feel like butterflies are like nature's, you know, colorful stickers. They're just so colorful. So I'm gonna use these. There are two pages in the book. And then I have this pastel rainbow washi tape, you guessed it, from Simply Gilded that I'm gonna use um, along the edges. So I'm going to get started. Uh, I do have that coupon code, that link in my description box for $5 off a purchase of $15 or more from Simply Gilded, and that's if you sign up for their no spam newsletter, and I get that same coupon code. So uh, feel free to use that. I am just going to put my washi tape along the edges, as you can see, and then um, do my stickers um, up the middle and across the top. When you're putting a long run of washi tape on like that, don't pull it super tight. It's pretty much imperceptible to the naked eye, but it does stretch. And then when you, when you cut the ends, when you take it off your desk and let it go, that's what causes your page to curl. So don't pull your washi tape tight. For bullet points, I 
think I'm just going to use, I have my big uh, bullet point book. I made this myself. I will link in the cards up above how to do that. But basically, anytime I came across a page of things that were like bullet points in a sticker book, I pulled it out and added it to this book. And I found this page of kind of pastel um, asterisks that are clear. So these are not something I would ever be able to use like to check off because they're they're clear. So I'm just going to rotate through these. The pink, the yellow, the teal, those are all in here. There's even a little bit of purple in some of these butterflies. So I'm just going to rotate through these real quick. All right, and then let's grab a pen and go ahead and write in the assignments. So first we're going to learn the letter Y. Then we're going to put it at the beginning of a couple words, so yoga and uh, Yule. I know it's about as far from Christmas as you can get, but it works. Next we're going to put it in the middle of the word, so fike. And I actually made these words up last year. I don't remember what that means, so I will look it up and when we get to it I'll let you all know. Hypo, as in like hypodermic needle. And then we're going to put it at the end of a couple words. So quay. And that's kind of an odd word. There are lots of words that end in Y, but I wanted to use um, the Q, which we just learned recently, and then body. So trying to keep the most recently learned uh, letters in the rotation so that they stay fresh and we can keep working on them. So that is it. I am going to pick pens and zoom in and I'll be back. So here are the pens I've chosen. I have the Fudenosuke in kind of a aqua blue color. So this is the, the Tombow. I have the Calligraph in mustard to pick up the dark in these butterflies. I have the lighter of the Pentel Touch brush sign pens, the lighter pink. And then I haven't used this one in a while. This is the Rytec brand. I've had them forever. Um, I think I'm pretty sure I got them off of Amazon. I have a, I know I have a link in the description box, but I've got this one in kind of a, an earthy, sagey, mint, mint green. It's more of a sage than a mint. Um, so let's get started. And that is from stiffest to softest. So um, normally I keep telling you all to warm up on whatever strokes give you a problem and I've been warming up on ACE for more than a year now and one of you had the genius suggestion because I'm always complaining about my F now that we've learned F to add the F to ACE and make it face so I am absolutely going to do that great great suggestion I'm going to start with my stiffest pen which is the pen that I um, I, I find the firmer pens I do better with and I need more energy and more warm up to do well with the softer pens. So I'm going to go from firmest to softest. You might have the opposite phenomenon if you're um, light handed. So I encourage you to start with the lightest and work your way up to the stiffest that give you the problems. So I'm going to start with the Tombow. Tombow is the brand and Fudenosuke is the style of pen from Tombow. I'm going to go ahead and do face. And it would appear it is lunchtime. It's <laughs> just for just went zooming by. <laughs> okay, next I have the um, Calligraph. So this one is from Archer and Olive. It has two ends. It's not an acrylograph. It's the Calligraph. That's the brand that one that has the brush tip at both ends, a small and a large. Next is the Pentel Touch brush sign pen. So Pentel is the brand. And the brush sign pen is the uh, style, the product from them. And then finally, I have the Rytec sign brush pen. So there are other Rytec pens, but it's the sign brush pen is the one you want for brush lettering. Excellent. Okay. 
How's my lighting? Not too bad. It's harder with the pastel pens. They wash out so easily. All right, so let's look at the letter Y. Start with the wavy stroke, terminating at the midline, and add the descender to finish, extending up to the midline. So they're starting at the baseline, and they're basically doing the wavy stroke that we learned almost six months ago. Starting at the dot, light up, heavy down, light up. And then they're staying in that same spot and doing a heavy down light up, just like our J, um, several oops, of our descenders. All right, and then when you connect the two, you get the, the Y in the style that they're doing. So this entrance stroke, I didn't do last year. Um, let's look at some of our alternate choices. Hi, Jazzy, are you gonna help? Can I lay this on your head? No, <laughs> no, I want lunch, mom. <laughs> so this is the um, free downloadable practice sheet from Tombow. I have these linked. So they're not starting with the, with the, at the baseline and coming up first. They're just doing, so similar to when I do my M's and my N's, I don't do that wavy entrance. So they're just starting, no slant on this, heavy down, light up, and then they're, they're, um, descender stroke, the heavy down light up. So no surprise there. Uh, this is the Rainbow Crayola Ligraphy book. So again, a little bit more of a slant, heavy down light up. Theirs is a little bit rounder, so a little bit more like um, I start my O, and then heavy down and a light up. So again, no surprises there. There's not a lot of alternate ways to do a Y. This is the um, boxed set from Crayola, separate sheets. And so they're kind of doing halfway in between. They're doing a little bit of an ent entrance stroke and then heavy down, light up. Um, and they've got the most slant we've seen so far. So I might do this if my Y is at the beginning of the word, but I'll tell you what, that's relatively rare. So, and then last but not least, I have the Calligraphy Made Easy book, which is also linked in my description box. I got mine at Walmart, but I've also, also my link is for Amazon. So, so here's their why. So again, not really any kind of a, a, a curly entrance um, at all. Not a little bit, not a lot, just kind of straight down, heavy, heavy down, light up, and then the descender added on. Now there is an alternate in the book. Um, and in, for the alternate, basically the difference is that they're not curling around, curving around and connect, giving any kind of a connector stroke. So this would work fine if it was at the end of the letter, but there's no way to connect to it if the Y is at the beginning or in the middle. So I don't really care for that one either. All right, so let's, let's go ahead and switch to Monday and give this a try. So I'm going to try, I just said I was going to try a little bit of a light curl to, en to um, enter in. So if I do just a little bit, just start maybe three quarters of the way down, light up, heavy down, light up, and then my descender portion, heavy down, light up, and I do want a connector. Why? There we go. So I like that. That, um, that is what I'm going to stick with. If I don't want to any kind of, they were doing a full light up, heavy down, light up, and then the descender, heavy down, light up, and that, that's too much for me. I don't care for that much curl and frill to my letters. I know a lot of you do, and that's perfectly fine, perfectly fine. Do what you like, or you could get rid of that all together. So heavy down, light up, heavy down, light up, and connector. So that's what mine looks like when it's in the middle or at the end. Um, but I like this for my beginning. So I'm just gonna go ahead and practice that. A Little bit of an entrance. So we're not really gonna have any words that have double Y's. 
Um, I suppose you could have a word that had two Y's in it, like yummy. Um, but more often, I think you're going to have multiple words in a quote that you, so you have Y showing up multiple times. So you're wanna, going to want to work on um, the parallel of the downstroke. Or you might have a word that has a J and a Y, jumpy. Um, the P, um, where you're going to, again, want as to be as identical as possible on this downstroke part. Not, that one's a little short. I want to, and I got to, as I look back across, I see a few that are a little short. So I want to tighten that up, clean that up, how late, how far down I drop. starting a word with the Y. Let's write yoga. So we're going to be looking for the, the descender portion of the Y and the G to be as similar as possible. Same angle, same depth, same width. too bad. one some lunch and I'll be back <laughs> okay lunch is being devoured so we should be able to get through the rest of this uninterrupted next we're gonna do Yule so the trick for this one is gonna be fitting the L the ascender up into one of these spaces but I'm not gonna worry about that on the first one all right so my little entrance some symmetry, some mirror, mirroring of this part of the L and this part of the Y. So going for the same, um, roughly the same size on that and the same slant. Oops. 
oops, and I didn't start the entrance to my U, I mean my Y. So for example, this one's kind of fat, and this one is super skinny, and that's not what I'm going for. about you all but the fatness of this bottom line the line at the bottom of each of the days always messes me up on descenders all right fike so I did look this up uh, fike is a kind of a bag net that's used to catch little fish so <laughs> all right so here we go glad I practiced my F already now my Y is going to be in the middle of the word So many fun letters in this word, oh my gosh. So your, your Y ends up starting more like a U when it's in the middle of the word. I feel like this is like quaff last week. Really, really full. <laughs> a full section of the page. One page to go. All right, so let's try hypo. my pee. Hypo. Looks pretty good. These are very similar. That's good. Angle and width. I'm going to uh, adjust my lighting down just a little bit. It's getting hard for me to see. That looks a little better. Those are really fat. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Right, getting there, two to go. So now we're gonna end with Y. 
I'm gonna try the Q again. Let's try Quay. bottom of my Q and the bottom of my Y should pretty much be mirror images of each other. The top of my Q and the top of my A should be about the same. And the top of my U and the top of my Y should be about the same. So I just looked. Quay is a structure built parallel to a waterway intended for landing. So I guess kind of like a dock maybe, I'm not sure, but uh, I thought it had to do with like waterways and stuff, so. And we're not gonna be able to squeeze the Y in there. That's <laughs> the only problem with the Y at the end. If you run out of space, you don't even get to put it on there. I did straighten my paper up quite a lot because I felt like my slant was getting a little out of control. And you're t I've said this in earlier videos, your natural tendency is to pull straight down so you can completely control your slant pretty easily just by how much you turn your paper. So if you feel like your slant's getting a little out of control, just turn your paper a little bit less. Alright, and last but not least, we'll try the word body. So we've got some ascenders on this one. This one is definitely not as easy as you would think. Between these two ascenders and this descender, getting all three of them relatively the same slant and size, width is, wow, I'm sorry. <laughs> And the entanglements, wow. That's a rough, a much rougher word than I expected. We made it. I should know better than to use really light pens in the spring in the Pacific Northwest with the light changing as much as it does, but too late now. So, all right, there we go. There is our spring color of my world with butterflies uh, for the letter Y. Let's see what last year looked like. We'll just look at the second half. So last year, 
I wasn't starting my Y with any kind of an entrance stroke. Um, but that's okay. I mean, that's what it looks like in the middle of a word anyway. So you can see I decorated for Memorial Day last year with the red, red and blue. So here we go. Wow. Don't have enough room on my desk for everything. So there we go. There is uh, last year versus this year. Definitely liking a little bit more of an entrance on a lot of these letters. Um, I, I think that adds um, not too much flair, just enough flair for uh, the way I like my lettering to be. So um, I, I definitely feel like my O has gotten better. Um, the Y is not bad. The Y was never complicated before, and we've already practiced most of these strokes. It's just putting them together in different combinations. So I do like I, I, I do like how I've started a little bit of an entrance stroke. So give that um, give that a try. If you haven't been, you might de decide you like it a little better. Same thing on the B here. So anyway, there we go. Uh, I hope you're seeing lots of improvement. Your muscle memory should definitely be there by now. Your stamina should be there, um, be getting there too, um, if you've been practicing uh, a little bit more each each session. Um, you you should be building up a little bit more stamina in your in your arm. So uh, I hope you like this video. Stay with it. Stick with it. We're about to enter the fun world of capital letters um, and. If you haven't, go ahead and print out a couple extra pages for next week. I think we might need them for the R and the S. So I hope you like this video. Keep tagging me on Instagram um, and I will keep sharing your progress with in my stories um, so we can help encourage each other and keep helping me spread the word. If you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. Thank you.